Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get more smartest. In 1778, Captain James Cook first sights the Oregon coast. In 1799, Napoleon Bonaparte captures Haifa in Palestine and his troops kill more than 2,000 Albanian captives. In 1801, Massachusetts enacts the first ever state voter registration law. In 1843, Edward Cavanaugh of Maine, the first Catholic governor in the U.S., takes office. In 1850, Senator Daniel Webster gives his 7th of March speech, endorsing the Compromise of 1850 in order to prevent a possible civil war. The civil war happens anyway. In 1854, Charles Miller patents the first U.S. sewing machine to stitch buttonholes. In 1857, baseball decides that nine runs do not constitute an official game. Nine innings do. In 1870, the Cincinnati Red Stockings, the first professional baseball team, begins an eight-month tour of the Midwest and the East. In 1875, composer Maurice Ravel is born. You may have seen Bo Derrick running on the beach to his composition, Bolero. In 1876, Alexander Graham Bell is granted a patent for an invention he calls the telephone. In 1887, the North Carolina State University is founded by the North Carolina General Assembly. In 1881, Southern University opens in New Orleans. In 1900, the SS Kaiser Wilhelm de Gross becomes the first ship to send wireless signals to shore. In 1905, Arthur Conan Doyle revives his famous detective and publishes his The Return of Sherlock Holmes collection in London. In 1906, the Finnish Senate accepts universal suffrage, except for the poor. In 1908, Cincinnati Mayor Mark Breith announces to the City Council that women are not physically fit to operate automobiles. In 1911, Willis Farnsworth of Petaluma, California patents the coin-operated locker, and bus stations are never the same. In 1918, President Woodrow Wilson authorizes the U.S. Army's Distinguished Service Medal. In 1926, the first two-way transatlantic telephone call takes place. In 1929, the first non-stop flight across the Bering Sea from America to Asia occurs. In 1930, Georgetown High School of Chicago defeats Homer 1-0 in basketball. In 1936, in violation of the Locarno Pact and the Treaty of Versailles, Germany reoccupies the Rhineland. In 1939, Glamour magazine begins publishing. Also in 1939, Guy Lombardo and the Royal Canadians are the first to record All Lang Syne. In 1942, the first cadets graduate from flying school at Tuskegee, Alabama. In 1945, U.S. troops capture the Ludendorff Bridge and cross the Rhine at Remagen. In 1946, at the 18th Academy Awards, The Lost Weekend wins Best Movie, while Ray Milland and Joan Crawford win for acting. Also in 1946, Bikini Atoll Islanders are evacuated by the U.S. government to make way for a nuclear testing site. In 1955, at the 7th Emmy Awards, Make Room for Daddy, Danny Thomas, and Loretta Young win. Also in 1955, the musical Peter Pan, starring Mary Martin, is broadcast live on NBC TV and attracts a record 65 million viewers. In 1959, Bells Are Ringing closes at the Schubert Theater in New York City after 925 performances. In 1962, the Beatles make their broadcasting debut on BBC Radio. Also in 1962, the British Royal College of Physicians releases the groundbreaking report, Smoking and Health, which is the first major report to warn of the dangers of cigarette smoking. In 1965, police brutally attack civil rights marchers in Selma, Alabama. In 1968, the BBC broadcasts the news for the first time in color. In 1970, British actress Rachel Weisz was born. In 1972, The First Time Ever I Saw Your Face is released by Roberta Flack and becomes the Billboard Song of the Year. In 1975, RCA releases David Bowie's ninth studio album called Young Americans, which featured appearances by John Lennon. In 1979, at the fifth People's Choice Awards, Burt Reynolds and Olivia Newton-John win for movies, and Alan Alda, Mary Tyler Moore, and Carol Burnett win for TV. In 1981, an 18-year-old is stabbed to death in the first homicide at Disneyland. 
making it the unhappiest place in the world that day. In 1982, the NCAA tournament selection is televised live for the first time. In 1983, TNN, the Nashville network, begins on cable television. In 1985, the song We Are the World has its international release. In 1986, divers from the USS Preserver locate the crew cabin of the Space Shuttle Challenger on the ocean floor. In 1988, Howard Stern's first pay-per-view called Underpants and Negligee Party is broadcast. In 1989, Iran and the United Kingdom break diplomatic relations over Salman Rushdie and his controversial novel. In 1991, Iraq continues to explode oil fields in Kuwait. In 1993, Different Strokes actor Todd Bridges is arrested for stabbing one of his tenants. In 1994, the U.S. Supreme Court rules that parodies of an original work are generally covered by the doctrine of fair use. In 1996, today is the first time we see photos of the surface of Pluto. In 1997, five people sue the Japanese Prime Minister because his smoking habit has violated the country's constitution guaranteeing a wholesome life. In 1999, American director Stanley Kubrick passes away. In 2009, the Kepler Space Observatory is launched to discover Earth-like planets orbiting other stars. In 2010, American director Catherine Bigelow becomes the first woman to win an Academy Award for Best Director for her movie The Hurt Locker. In 2011, Charlie Sheen is fired from the CBS sitcom Two and a Half Men. In 2015, 54 people are killed and 143 are wounded by five Boko Haram suicide bombings in Nigeria. In 2016, Peyton Manning announces his retirement from the Denver Broncos and football. Also in 2016, Russian tennis star Maria Sharapova fails a drug test and is subsequently suspended for 15 months. In 2017, during a storm, Malta's famous landmark, the Azure Window, collapses into the sea. In 2019, the Chinese telecommunications company, Huawei sues the U.S. government over a federal ban on its products. And in 2021, New York Governor Chris Cuomo says, no way I resign amid accusations of sexual assault. So that was today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I dare you to watch all of the rest of them in order, starting right now. Let's do it.